Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a good old fashioned plan with me. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute. You'll see though that I have some printables here which is a little different uh, for my channel. I normally am doing like bullet journal inspired layouts, my catch all, and I am still doing that for my weeklies. But this is a daily layout and so I like just didn't know. Maybe you guys don't know either so I just like wanted to share this. Passion Planner has free printables on their website, like full like PDF files where you can download an entire planner and print it out. Um, so I just printed a couple pages from these dailies here. You can also print weeklies and monthlies, which I've already done a monthly. I haven't done any of the weeklies yet, but I wanted to try planning uh, in a daily. I've never done it before. And one of my good friends, Queen from Queen's Fancy Plans, has been doing daily layouts because she got a passion planner daily. And she's just been like kind of inspiring me to play around with this layout. I have no clue what I'm doing, but y'all are gonna join me for the ride. Um, and so I'm going to be planning for Tuesday, February 16th, because I have a lot going on that day and I thought that would be appropriate for using a daily. And that's what I love about being able to just print this is I'm not the kind of person who's gonna use a daily well daily <laughs> I just I'm a weekly kind of girl I like to have my whole week in front of me and just kind of use that but for days where I'm really busy this is perfect to help me remain focused and this whole right page here is basically just like a blank canvas where I can do whatever the heck I want so I'm pretty excited so I went ahead and pulled the stickers that I'm planning to use you may recognize these. I've used some of them in the past or similar stickers. So the majority of these are from the Honey Bee Shop Book Gazer and uh, Blush Baby Babe Boxes. And then there's some Happy Planner stickers in here. There's a few. These are from Fruity Sticker Co. Um, and then on the back here, I'm going to actually use one of these planner cards. You get one of these every single month, if you don't know, in the Honey Bee Shop Babe Box. And I've never used one. And I thought, since I have plenty of space here, <laughs> I could actually use one. Um, and yeah, these are just some Happy Planner stickers. So mainly Honeybee Shop, some Happy Planner, some Fruity Sticker Co. And I believe that's it. I don't want to leave anybody out. This is Fruity Sticker Co. I believe that's it. Um, this is a... I printed this out and this was... Um, one of the digital files from the, I believe it was the Adulty AF Bay box, pretty sure. Um, and this was a freebie that Shan sent out. Um, so I just printed a bunch of them. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So oh, I'm nervous. I've never done a daily layout before. This <laughs> is just like weird for me. I, I don't know. So I totally just noticed. Yeah, see, I'm new at this. I just noticed that you can just like circle this here, but I kind of want to use this sticker. Okay, so I'm going to, pro tip by the way, um, this is like a reusable sticker sheet and I just pulled it out because I had a bunch of them. Um, I used my little Cricut tool, my uh, whatever you call this thing, to help like lift up the corner. Sometimes it can be hard. Uh, particularly if you're like me and you have like no fingernails, um, <laughs> it could really help. All right, so I'm gonna put. So this is actually like a divider, uh, divider label that was in an old Happy Planner book I had. The um, dates. It was like one of the memory keeping ones, dates and holidays, I think. And it just had a bunch of these and I figured why not? That looks cute. And then I pulled two of the numbers because I just wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. I think this circle is gonna be a little too big for this. I think I'm just gonna use this little 16. This is from the Fruity Sticker Co. And I'm just gonna put that right there. And then I think, here's what I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, I, st I still like, I just wanna use this. Ha 
Aha! Cute! Alright. Okay, so we have it dated. That's a step. Okay, now we have to figure out... As far as washi, I want to use this book gazer washi because it goes with all this and plus I just haven't used it in so long and it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. And this washi, I don't know what it is. Like, I have several washi from the honeybee shop. This one is soft. It's like a totally different texture. I, I don't know what it is, but I love it. So I think I'm going to cover this with this. I may have to use, yeah, I'm gonna have to use white out because it's, it's not fully opaque. So this washi in particular is actually perforated. So I'm just gonna see. That should be good. Perforated washi is like a game changer when you're doing headers and stuff. See if I can get this straight. And I already see a cat hair underneath because why not? You know, why wouldn't there be? always a cat hair <laughs> underneath oh goodness where's my tweezers there we go all right so we're just gonna i've been using this on my washi and my stickers and it works really well just to kind of like make sure it's down all right that's super pretty um and i also wanted to incorporate this striped washi i just I know it's like basic, but like stripes and flowers, man, they're just so pretty. Um, I, I do have a girly side, believe it or not. <laughs> so I think I could do one on the bottom. I don't want to cover up this copy right here. I got my fancy washi cutter. Shout out to the Alexandrian uh, autograph collection. really have room for this over here unless I'm gonna like put it I could put it in this box you know what that might actually be really pretty what if I here. you know I'm, I'm brand new to this layout so bear with me but I think we're gonna be okay By the way, shout out to uh, Shauna Klingerman. If you're not subscribed to Shauna, you need to go do that. She is insanely talented and super sweet. And she recommended this paper that I printed this on. I know a lot of people probably already use this paper. Um, I'll put it in the description because I can't remember. I can't even remember what brand it is, but... Uh, it has been so great for printing stuff um, and making sure my stuff is like, you know, printing at a good quality. I need my ruler because I can't get like, can't get to the edge. It's getting about time for a new ruler because this poor ruler has seen better days. I mean, I only paid a dollar for it. So there we go. Now I'll just do the other side. But see how it's it's like it's cut because I use it sometimes to like cut edges. And ever since I got this fabulous mat that I wish I got a long time ago, because I can just do all kinds of projects and use my Exacto knife and not have to worry about cutting my desk, which is always nice. But this poor ruler has taken a beating. Yes. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, girl. Okay. That is pretty. All right. So, stickers. So, 
Okay, so I definitely know I want this planner cart over here. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to like layer it on a piece of washi maybe. Like maybe I'll do this striped washi down here as well and just cover this up. Yeah, screw it. If you hear someone screaming in the background, I promise you I did not have someone in my basement. That's my husband playing a game with his friends online. Just just in case you can hear that. Um yeah, so this was about this far up. If you are one of my new subscribers, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you to everyone who entered my giveaway. I was so excited to be able to do that for you guys and just give back in a small way. Thank you for helping my little baby channel grow. I was thinking about it earlier and like, I was thinking, okay, if I'm at, now I'm at like 170 subscribers, which is awesome. I was thinking like, okay, it's February. What if like by the end of this year, what if like, what if I could get 500 subscribers by the end of the year? Do you think I can do that? That would, that would be amazing. Have I thought about what I'm going to write in it? No. You know, one thing at a time. Okay. <laughs> so... Now we definitely want to put some of these florals. Oh god. I don't know if you can like really tell how pretty this is on camera. You know what's so funny is that like I remember being in my early 20s and like I hated flowers. Like I remember going shopping with my mom. <laughs> she probably remembers this. Uh, leave a comment mom. I know you watch all my videos. Um, Remember when, like, I I used to go, like, shopping looking for a new um, comforter for my bed. And this is when I was, like, I don't even know if I was, I could have still been, like, 19 or 20. But definitely, like, into my early 20s. I hated flowers. I was, like, flowers are for, like, like real adults, like, older people. I don't want flowers. And, and like, everything was floral. And now... I love flowers, and that's how I know I'm like, okay. I'm definitely not in my early 20s anymore. I'm about to turn 28. Shout out to the 93 babies. We are officially getting old, but we're not 30 yet, so... It's, it's gonna be okay. Honestly, I'm like excited because the early 20s are like I'm about to like go off on a, on a rant about how sucky your early 20s are your early 20s are just like not it's just a like confusing time and it's like most people I know I was most people are broke I was living with my parents um Shout out to the people who still live with their parents. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, you're just like, you're broke and you're like, you don't really know what you want to do, like career wise. And you're like, probably working some job you don't really want to work. So if anybody's watching this, who's in their early twenties and you're feeling like really depressed, um, take it from me. Hi y'all, editing me here. So, uh, in this next little part, <laughs> my husband was playing a game, like a, some kind of horror game, online, and um, yeah, that's what the noise is, um, just, just so you know, but I wanted to keep it in because I thought it was hilarious. What the hell? Jesus Christ. 
Uh, take it from me. It it does get easier. Um, I think that at least here in America, like I don't feel that schools prepare us properly for adulthood. And so, like, you graduate from high school, and I can't imagine not having support from my family, because my family's the only reason I am in a good position right now. Uh, like, truly and honestly. Um, fuck, I didn't realize that I covered that up. Is that okay? Is that dumb that it covers up the B? Is that... Is that dumb? What if... No, I think it ripped the paper. It did. Well, only in the corner. Hold on. It's only in the corner. I think I think we can save it. Hold up. <laughs> ah, now it ripped right at the end. Let's just move it up. Let's move it up. Um, or maybe we just won't even use it because we're having all kinds of issues. So yeah, take it from me. Um, it does get easier, but I just think like that transition is really hard, particularly if you don't have, um family or some kind of like support system to help I like I really I'm sorry because I don't know how I would have gotten through um without my family but I'm excited like I see years go by I'm like man I'm just glad I'm not in my early 20s anymore because that was the pits All right, we're just gonna trash that because it, it just it, it was giving me issues because I definitely have more florals to use so this was a digital and i'm ripping it because i'm not using my tools like i'm supposed to be okay <laughs> this was a digital from book gazer and let's see it's almost like the way it printed it this has like blue flowers and you can see here that it's like dark blue it's the same flower I don't know if that's going to bother me. I think it is. So I'm going to save that for a different time or I'm not using that washi. That's just, yeah, just me being super picky. Don't be like me and rip your stickers, please, because I am in a hot mess. Oh my God. Okay, we're going to save it. We're going to save it. So this is from Blush Baby, but I feel like it goes, I feel like it goes really well with Book Gazer. So just trying to decide how I want to do it. And at the end, I'm just going to use my punch to punch the sticker bits out. And then, okay, so I want to use another one of those same flowers on this side but maybe I don't because I already have this one I don't want to do like too much you know I could make it just like on the corner mm. I'm overthinking I'm overthinking okay you know what I'm just gonna do this There you go. Just got a nice little flower in the corner. It's cute. This is from my digital detox book from Happy Planner. It's one of my favorite sticker books, honestly. And I'm gonna use this section. I'm gonna use your tools, Cassie. All right, we're gonna say a prayer that this is straight. I think it is. The air bubbles out. This got really messed up on that reusable sticker sheet. I know I should have used wax paper. I know, I know. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, great, another cat here. Wonderful. All right. So I want to use this 
for, it's just what I was thinking was for emails. I could use it for emails or I could use it for just to do's. I'm gonna be fine. I just, I want a sticker to cover that or a piece of washi. Um, you know, I could use, I pulled one of these clear thingies from, from eh, the clear's gonna totally show it. That was a stupid idea. Um, could always do one of these cuties. I could like line it up to the dots here on the edge. That could be cute. Is that dumb? Yes. This way? Yeah. I don't like that. All right, let's try one of these boxes. Have a cute little layering piece here. Here we could do an arrow, we could do this. We have a computer or monitor. Um, I want to use this cloud. This is pretty. Check that out. That's cute. I thought that was perfect for a daily spread. Another day, another chance to shine. It did rip when I, like, when I pulled it out of the original sticker book, it was like, it wasn't cut right there at the bottom, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, kind of want to put her... And I do not wake up this early, so I'm gonna use this sticker to cover this. I wake up at eight, so I kinda wanna put like, well, you know what I could do is just do this. Yeah, this is called I'm Still Asleep. That's cute. And then I want to put a box there. That's cute. I have this little checklist here that I thought about cutting and using here. I thought that would be cute. So it could do... And then I did have these bullets that were in here. So I kind of thought about this. Ooh. Just like a bullet point. I know that's where you're supposed to like check the task off, but I was gonna highlight. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of cute as a bullet point. At least in uh, one of these sections here. That's cute. Um, it obviously doesn't cover the bottom one, but whatever. Um, where's the other one? Then I had this one that I could put, I could cut it and use it here. Cause it's only three. I'm just gonna lay it down and then cut it with the X-Acto. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yes. And we're just gonna, Carefully. Yes. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, hold up. Do I have another one in the same color? I have one in a different color. I could just fill that in. Hold up, hold up. 
Hold up. I do! <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're just gonna cut one. I'm definitely using the tweezers for this. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to. It's fine. I'm not gonna obsess over it. There's like a little white space. No, it's fine. Not worry about it. Okay, so definitely, like, I don't want to do too much. Okay, first of all, I know that I have a Zoom meeting at 1 o'clock. And it goes from anywhere from 1 to 1.30, 1 to 2. And I have another Zoom meeting at 3 o'clock. Shout out to the Fruity Sticker Co. for these Zoom stickers. Oh, I wanted to use this as well. I gotta, like, vent about something with y'all real quick. I wanna see if any of y'all can relate or if I'm just, like, an old fart. So, like, I know there's people older than me who are, like, thriving on TikTok, right? I cannot for the life of me. Like, I'm a... I consider myself a pretty tech savvy person and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to make like one of these fancy TikToks with all these like effects and transitions and stuff like y'all are like y'all amaze me honestly because I I feel so stupid when I get on TikTok and I just I just end up just watching them I don't make them um because I just feel like I'm too I'm too old. That's just the excuse, because plenty of people older than me <laughs> are making TikToks and it's nothing to do with it. Um, I'm just, yeah. Can anybody relate? I was thinking about uploading like clips for my YouTube videos here to TikTok just for a different audience, because like it's a really popular app, but I don't want to cover up this copyright, but I'm gonna have to because this is perfect here. So sorry, Angela Trinidad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just it goes so perfectly here. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right, this is coming along here. Um, I want to do press pause. Like, so I get off work at 4:30, so I want to put press pause like down here to remind myself like. To actually get off the computer and relax and like do something you enjoy because with remote work sometimes it's easy to stay on you know and do your work later than you should be because you're just at home on your computer and <laughs> the concept of time is like non-existent so just like to remind myself to Stop working when you're supposed to stop working. Again, I don't know what to do here. I really don't. Like, I might have to, like, go on Instagram and look to some of you guys for inspiration. Because I just feel like I... I don't have anything. this would be cute like the bookshelf and the books and today I learned I think that's cute y'all probably scream at me like why are you not using your tweezers <sighs> I know <laughs> I know <laughs> okay I think I'm done make sure I didn't miss anything essential here I think I might just take this remnant of this flower and put it over here. I don't like to waste sticker bits, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go get my punch. We're gonna punch punch this out because we have, we kind of covered up a lot of the uh, holes there. We're gonna put the cap in the on there so we don't hurt ourselves. Okay. 
BRB. Okay, what do y'all think? Um, personally, I'm obsessed. Oh, hold on. I knew I forgot to do something. Got to trim off. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I think it came out super cute and I'm super excited to use it. And I feel like I'm going to open this up, you know, when I have kind of a stressful day ahead and just feel like, okay, I got this, you know? It's very calming. It's very peaceful and relaxing. Still not sure how I'm going to use this planner card. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I might think of something. Uh, I might see something on, on here or on Instagram that inspires me, but let me know how you use these if you're a bait box subscriber. Um, but I am in love and I'm going to show y'all a little sneak peek. I'm working on a bougie layout for next week, doing a blackout spread. Um, this particular layout was inspired by an Instagram post. I cannot remember the account name, but I'm definitely going to um, credit them when I post this on Instagram once it's finished. But I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with it. I think it came out really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And I will see you next time.